Hi guys, this is Jo Beth. Um, it is my week 42 post Ruin Y gastric bypass update. So, if you've watched my last couple videos, you know that I had um, injections in my spine a couple weeks ago. Um, yes, it has like wreaked havoc on my body. Like, my weight will go so drastically from one day to the next. It's like last week I weighed in at 182.2 or something and the next day I was down to 180.1 and I was like oh I'm, I'm doing good I'm losing it I'm getting back to normal and I was really excited and the next day for no reason I was back up to 180 like 4.6 I was like I had like 900 calories there is no way I gained that much in one day it's just ridiculous. I don't even know what the heck is going on. It's literally, ooh, sorry, I'm trying to fix this. It's driving me insane. Like each day, I have no clue what the scale is gonna say. No matter how good I've done the day before, it just keeps going up and down and up and down. So today was my weigh-in day and it was the highest I've seen so far. Today was one, 85.6 or something but I wake up and my hands are all poofy and like when I take my socks off at the end of the day I have like an indent line so I'm guessing that the majority of this is water weight but I heard that it can take like over a month for your body to kind of go back to normal so I'm really hoping in the next couple weeks like my weight does not go up any higher like I'm losing my mind it has been a very rough week actually um in every way possible okay i've been getting lots of steps in being active at work you know trying to eat right and then the whole like weight gain crazy sorry hold on people just want to call me right now um so the whole weight gain thing is throwing me off it's making me not want to document my food it's making me want to be like screw it i'm gaining weight anyway i might as well eat what i want and I do not want to have that mentality. So today I was like, I just have to do something different. So I'm going to try a more keto style diet, which could be a wonderful bold move or it could be super stupid. I don't know. Because in keto, you up the fats, you have moderate protein and very low carbs. So I'm like, uh, up in the fat doesn't really seem like it'd be great, but nothing else is working. I've had low calorie. I've had whatever my normal stuff that I'm supposed to do. I was not doing anything. So I'm going to try, but if tomorrow says like 189, I swear, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's just nuts. Then, um, this weekend I was trying to get lots of stuff out of the shed, getting things ready for the garage sale. And I was like, this garage sale is kind of like wedding budget money. So I'm like, sell everything. <laughs> Um, I was trying to paint some stools that we had, um, in the basement. They were looking pretty, pretty ratchet. So I got out the paint and I was starting, I painted the top and then I painted like underneath and I was kind of crouched over painting underneath and I threw my back out. Yes. I had the stupid back injections like two weeks ago and I already threw my back out. So I was like, did I get injections to make me gain weight and it still didn't help? But I have to say, trying to be positive, this time, like, as soon as it happened, I went inside, I took a Flexerol, um, a muscle relaxer, I sat on the couch for the rest of the day, and, um, hold on, this is blinking at me, sorry. Sorry, YouTuber problem, I keep running out of space on my memory card. Um, so, yeah, I went inside, I took a muscle relaxer, and I had to kind of, like, just sit on the couch and relax for the rest of the day. And then instead of my back staying out for like weeks on end, uh, the next day it was like, okay. Like I went to work and everything was all right. It's still not good, but at least I'm not like incapacitated for like weeks on end. Sorry, the lighting is insane. Um, so yeah, that was that day. And if you watched my other video a couple weeks ago, um, you would know that I started another YouTube channel for things that are like... Not weight loss surgery related, but things that I wanted to talk about. So, um, this week I uploaded a video on, like, my miscarriage story. You know, if I can help anybody, like, feel like they are not alone in something that they're going through that's really hard, 
I'm going to do it. And it was a very hard video for me to film. Like, this was all during my dad's stroke, me having a miscarriage, all this stuff. So, as a new channel, I do not have, I don't even know if I have any subscribers yet. But, um, I had my first, like, incident with a cyber bully. And I was, like, horrified by what he wrote. At first, like, I didn't know that this was just some jerk that writes on everybody's page. And I was, I took it personal. I've had, like what, 32 years of hating myself and putting myself down and, like, to see somebody else write something so hateful and mean on my page, I was like, maybe I do not have the thick skin to be a YouTuber. Um, it's insane. Like, on all my weight loss surgery stuff, I have never had anybody say anything mean, nothing negative, nothing derogatory. This was all pure hate. He said how I was, like, an ugly, autistic boring B word, ugly, fat B word, um, that he doesn't think that I should have children. He's glad that I had a miscarriage. And if I ever got pregnant again, he would rape me and beat me until I had another miscarriage. Like this was like a string of horrible, hateful, evil, mean comments. And at first I was just like, oh, how can anyone say that? Like so mean. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to research this person. So I clicked on his page and I was going to block him anyway. So I looked up his stuff. He has so many followers for such a hater. Like, I can't even believe that there's so many people just full of hate in the world. And even like, as like a sentence, like his motto or whatever was like, go try to hang yourself. I, I bet it won't work. Like, horrible things. And he's got like 123 thousand like views and a bunch of subscribers I was like how are there so many hateful people and then like all of this stuff popped up when I typed in his name and like all of these other youtubers had like a video saying the horrible things that he said to them which was all along the same lines that he said to me saying horrible hurtful things but like telling them to kill themselves and like all this stuff I cannot I don't know it just reminds me of something like Criminal Minds, like someone's so evil and twisted inside, like they're just sitting at home making everybody super miserable. And then I thought for a while and I was like, you know what? I don't care if he thinks that I'm ugly, if he thinks that I'm boring, if he thinks that I should go kill myself, if I should have another miscarriage. Like, I have people in my life that love me. Just for me, I can be flawed. I don't have to be the most beautiful person ever. That's not my goal. I would rather be beautiful on the inside and treat people with kindness and, you know, the whole thing of me losing weight wasn't to be the hottest thing ever. It was to be healthy and happy and to feel better about myself. So, you know what? All that hatred is all on him. And I, I'm not going to return hate with hate. I'm going to do a Taylor Swift and just shake it off. Like, but it was, like, damaging when I first saw it. And I was like, I didn't know he was just a hater that hates on everybody. And I totally took a personal for two minutes, three minutes, maybe. But then I was like, I got to let it go. Um, I'm doing YouTube, first of all, because it's therapeutic to get some of this stuff out. Second of all, like I started my very first video because all of the other YouTubers before me that were so helpful in contributing to my weight loss surgery journey like, when I was scared to have bariatric surgery and I saw all of these people, like, doing so well, and even though they might stumble, like, their lives were so much better after surgery. And it gave me the strength to be like, I can do this. You know, so many people do this. I am not alone. I am not, like, there are tons of people that go through this and they are all okay. So I'll be okay too. And I just, I wanted my my page to be like that. If people can watch me and be like, okay, she struggles this week. She might struggle for a couple weeks, but she keeps trying and she keeps getting, I don't know, progress eventually. <laughs> you know, even though right now I'm up several pounds and I don't want to be, I am down so many pounds than I was before. And I'm still fitting into all my jeans. I am still you know, I'm a size 12. I am happy. Just don't let the haters get to you. Don't let anybody get to you. Just keep doing what you want to do, following your dreams. And I'm going to keep doing YouTube.
on both this and the other channel. And haters are just going to have to walk away. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you guys so much for the support that I received from you. Like, you guys are so sweet week after week. Like, I always have somebody who says something positive, something sweet that, like, just brightens my whole day. So even though this past week has been a rough one, a rough one, um, next week I'm hoping we'll be better. We just got to think positively and keep doing what we're supposed to do. And I'll try keto. We'll see. But if I gain, like, three, four pounds... I'm going to try something else. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a good week. Uh, it's hump day. We can make it through the rest of the week and get to the weekend. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.